Hey guys, Beth here from Yoga Lantis London. Welcome to video two of my special holiday themed Yoga Lantis class series. So these are short classes, about 30 minutes long, to kind of help us get back to our bodies um, in this sort of weird transitional stage between Christmas and New Year. Uh, and uh, all you're going to need for this class is a mat. So if you've got one of those, you're way ahead of the game. Uh, so we're going to start in a seated position today. Um, do sit up onto something if your knees are very high, sitting in a cross leg position, if you're tight in the hips. Um, it's useful to sit up onto a cushion or a block. I've got a yoga block under here. So anything that might that sort of suits and helps us to sit nice and tall out, out of the hips with the spine. And really feel, feel this elongation up through the crown of the head, nice and tall up to the ceiling, giving as much space between the vertebra as possible. And allowing the shoulders to sink down away from the ears as we gently close our eyes and start to draw the attention inwards. Noticing the weight of both sit bones, Noticing if there's even weight on both sit bones. Allowing the belly to be soft and expansive as the breath comes deep into the lungs, allowing the lower ribs to expand, the belly to expand the size of the waist. Drawing that breath deep into the body and on the exhale, everything softens back down and in. Belly moves back towards the spine, the ribcage softens down and inwards. You can also place one hand on the belly, one hand on the side of the lower ribs here to really reconnect to this breath. So, noticing the movements of both hands on the inhale, exhaling, softening back and in. Starting to connect to this breath. The inhale. And the exhale. Noticing if there's any tension creeping in around the shoulders, just allowing the shoulders to stay nice and relaxed as we breathe into the hands. What can also happen is the spine, so the body can collapse a little bit. So keep sitting up nice and tall, lengthening up through the crown of the head. Staying nice and open across the chest. Lengthening out the inhale and the exhale. Breathing into the full capacity of the lungs. Placing the hands back down on the thighs and the knees. And keeping the eyes closed for a moment, just taking the head over to the left, so left ear towards the left shoulder, stretching in the right side of the neck. And we're just going to take the head forward, chin to chest, and we're going to roll all the way around to the other side, right ear towards the right shoulder, and then maybe backwards a little bit, but try not to punch too much into the neck. And I'll come over to the left again. And now I'm just going to do a couple more circles in that. In, this, in the one direction, making this your last one. Really taking the head around, allowing it to roll around. And then we're going to bring the chin to the chest and we're going to go the other way. Making the next circle your last one. Keeping that the head rolling around, just releasing that tension in the neck and the shoulders. And bringing the chin to the chest and bringing the head all the way up. And just starting with some gentle shoulder rolls. Inhale to take the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale to take the shoulders down away from, from the ears. Just loosening up any tension there. Good, and then we're going to place the hands on the shoulders. I'm going to make nice big circles with the elbows. It can be nice to inhale as we open here, really opening the chest, bringing the breath into the body. Good, and then go the other way. Exhale. 
Excellent, marvellous. So bringing the hands on opposite legs, we're just going to open up on the inhale as we start to arch the spine forward. So we roll the shoulders back and bring the chest forward. And exhale, we're going to take the hands forward, crossing through the other arms on top, drawing the navel back, really rounding into the spine, so we're rounding behind us. Inhale, opening up, arching into the spine again. Exhale, tucking the pelvis under, drawing the navel back to the spine, chin to chest, and then again, one more time. Inhale, opening out, exhale, coming forward, rounding, tucking under with the pelvis, tucking the chin, and drawing up to a seated position, placing the right fingertips down. Left arm is going to come up on the inhale, we're going to re-reach up as tall as we can through the crown head, and then exhale, coming over. And then we're going to inhale, come straight back up, exhale, place the fingertips down. Other side, inhale up, reach up tall, exhale, coming over, opening through the chest, inhale up, exhale down. And one more time, inhale, reaching up, exhale, coming over, opening across the collarbones, inhale up, exhale down. And again, inhale, reaching up, exhale, coming over, inhale up, exhale down. Good, taking the breath in as we take the arms out and up. Exhale, hands come into the chest, into prayer in the front of the chest. And we're going to interlace the hands, roll the hands around the wrists. So starting to mobilise into the wrists a little bit. We're going to do a little bit of weight bearing on the hands. So it's good always to kind of warm up the wrists before we do that. And then reverse, taking it the other way. Good. Taking a big breath in. And exhale, pushing your hands away as we tuck the pelvis under, draw the Spine right to the back of the ring as we push the hands forward. Chin tucking into the chest, so lengthen the back of the neck. Keep breathing as we push forward with the hands, push back with the spine. And then on the next inhale, we're going to take the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, coming down and just pushing through the hands. We're just going to do little circles. So see if we can make those circles as even as possible. As if we're pushing against two walls, shoulders are down away from the ears. Building some heat. And then we're going to reverse, taking it the other way. Good. And then we're going to reach through the fingertips. So fingers really reaching apart. We're going to inhale, turn the palms up as we open through the chest. Exhale to take it the other way. We're going to hunch the shoulders up. And then again, inhale, opening up. Exhale, hunch. Inhale, opening the chest. Exhale, hunching the shoulders. Inhale, opening the chest. I'm going to hold it there. I'm going to turn the left arm. Just the left arm is going to hunch and then we're going to alternate. So one arm's going in one direction, one arm's going in the other. We're hunching one shoulder as we're opening the other side. Good. And one more. And then bringing the arms down, shaking out the shoulders, just releasing any tension there. Okay, lovely. So we're going to come off what we're sitting on and sit our bum down onto the floor. I'm going to bring the feet in front. I'm going to plant the feet down. You want to be uh, sort of in the middle of the mat with your bum. Bending the knees, having the feet on the floor. You can pop a cushion between the thighs if you want that extra sort of engagement of the thighs. It can be really nice. Otherwise, having the feet, knees, hips in line. Uh, and bringing the arms up, we're going to take the shoulders back. We're going to lift up through the crown of the head, so sitting up nice and tall. Feel the core engaging, so tummy muscles really pulling back to the spine. Take a breath in and exhale. We're going to tuck the pelvis under and draw the navel right back to the spine as we sort of come down to, not all the way to the floor, feel that core really working for us nice and strongly there. Inhale, coming all the way up, sitting up and out of the hips. And again, exhale, tucking the pelvis under, leaning back, collarbones stay nice and open, shoulders back. Inhale, coming up. And again, exhale, drawing the navel right back to the spine, leaning back. Inhale, coming up. And again. So really feeling the core working nice and strongly for us here. And making the next one our last one, holding it down there. Take a breath in to open the chest. And exhale, see if you can lean back a tiny bit more. Take a breath in again, lift up out of the chest. And then come down. And then all the way up back to a seated position. This time we're going to do some oblique work. So if you've got a cushion between the thighs, keep squeezing that cushion. Take a breath in to sit up nice and tall. And exhale, we take the left arm out to the side, looking back towards the fingertips. Inhale, coming up. 
Exhale, sweeping the right arm back, gazing towards the fingertips, opening through the chest. Inhale up, exhale. I'm just going to continue side to side here, working into the side oblique muscles of the waist. Good. Making the next one in the right arm, the last one, coming up to a seated position. And then we're going to lean back, just as we've done before. So feeling the core engage, opening through the collarbones, chest is nice and broad. And then we're going to place the, uh, the forearms down, so come, come rest on the forearms. And we're going to bring the knees up into the chest. We're going to keep the knees and the feet glued together. Open through the chest, so we're not collapsing the spine, but keeping the, the chest nice and lifted. Take a breath in as we come over to the right with both knees. I'm going to extend both legs. Exhale, everything comes back to centre on the other side. Inhale, take them over, extend. Exhale to come back. We're working into the legs, we're working the tummy here. We want to point through the toes, so really extend out of the hips and keep those knees and ankles glued together here. One more over to the left side. Going back to centre, good, and then just pushing yourself back up to a seated position. We're going to place the hands at the back of the legs and we're going to lift the feet off the floor just a couple of inches. So we're coming into what's called, called boat pose. Uh, it's a yoga and a Pilates pose. We're going to take a breath in to start nice and tall. Exhale, we're going to tuck the pelvis under, we're going to roll back, take the feet behind us. Inhale, coming up to boat pose. You can either stay there, you can raise the legs or you can come up to an extended version of both pose. Lift the chest, really engage the core, feel the thighs lifting up towards the chest. Then we'll do that again, hands to the back of the legs. Take a breath in, so sit up tall. Exhale, tucking the under, rolling back. Inhale, coming up, holding into our boat pose, whichever variation you want to try. You can also place the hands alongside the body. Placing the hands back, take a breath in. Exhale, coming back into our boat pose. Rolls and then back into boat. Take a breath in. Extending up into the full boat pose if you want to. Really breathing, lifting up out of the hips. Take a breath in and then exhale. We're going to extend the legs forward. Lift up tall and reach over the legs. Really feel the core pulling back here, so we're rounding the spine. Tucking the chin, reaching forward at the fingertips. Flexing the feet. Take a breath in and exhale, coming all the way up to a seated position. Now we're going to roll all the way down to the floor, nice and slowly, keep the feet flexed, the legs really glued into the floor. Take a breath in, sit up tall. Exhale, we're going to tap the pelvis under, we're going to roll through the spine really, really slowly, one vertebra at a time, all the way down to the floor. Inhale, the arms come up, exhale, arms come over. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, we're going to tuck the chin. Exhale, we're going to peel the spine one vertebra at a time up off the floor. You can always bend the knees while you're doing this. That's fine, feet on the floor. Sitting up nice and tall. Good, and then place the hands down. Let's come over into all fours position. So feet underneath the, sh uh, knees underneath the hips, pardon me, and feet underneath the shoulder, uh, the <laughs> wrists underneath the shoulders. Okay, so we're going to come into um, some, to taps with the feet. So we're going to extend the right leg back at hip height, really point through the toes. And on the inhale, we're going to tap the toes to the floor. Exhale, lift, we really squeeze into the bum. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. You don't want to lift any higher than the hip height. So making sure you're not hiking that right hip. Core is really working nice and strongly here. We're keeping the lower ribs lifted up into the body to support the movement. Good. Just two more. And then we're going to extend that left arm forward, lengthen the back of the neck, holding it there. Keep breathing, keep lifting the core, feeling that core engagement around the waist. Take a breath in, and on the, on the exhale, we're going to curl this knee through to the forehead. We're going to bring the elbow into sort of up to the sky and sides of the waist, really curling in. Inhale, extending out. Exhale, curling through. 
Inhale, extending out. Exhale, curling through. Just two more. Making the next one your know, last one. And then we're going to place the hand and knee gently back down where they were. Okay, so you're going to extend the right arm, uh, the, the, sorry, the left leg this time. So left leg up at hip height. Take a breath in as we tap the toes to the floor and then exhale, lift. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Continuing with that. And again, making sure you're not sinking the lower ribs down to the floor. Keep the front of the lower ribs knitted up into the body. And making sure we're not lifting that left hip too high. Making the next one your last one, holding it up there. You can extend the right arm forward this time. Shoulder drops back, palm facing inwards. Lovely long length through the body here. Keep the lower ribs lifted up, core engaged. Keep breathing. And on the next exhale, we're going to curl in. We're going to bring the knee towards the forehead, forehead towards the knee, going to round up, elbow up towards the side of the waist. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Continue with that. Making the next one your last one. Extending out and then bring the hand and knee back down to the floor. We're going to come into downward facing dog now. So we're going to place the hands a little bit further forward, about one hand's length further forward. Separate the fingers and thumbs really wide apart, index fingers in line. Tucking the toes under, taking your breath in. And exhale, we're going to lift the bum up to the ceiling. And again, just like we did in the first video, we're going to pedal out the feet. So warming up the backs of the legs. Rolling the shoulders away from the ears. So we're pushing down with the thumb and the forefinger of both hands really strongly into the floor, but we're rolling the shoulders away from the ears. So there's sort of two um, directions of energy going on at the same time. Lifting up onto the balls of both feet, pushing heels down towards the floor. So we're lifting the bum nice and high up to the ceiling. Keeping a length in the back of the neck. And taking a breath in, to lift up onto the balls of the feet, exhale, bring the knees down to the floor. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pivot the left foot out to the side, I'm going to extend that right leg long. Put the foot in line with the knee, in line with the hand, and then I'm going to open up into a lovely like side stretch, opening the side of the body. You can have the arm overhead if you wish, that's fine too. Breathing into that. Maybe tuck the chin, looking up. You can either stay there or you can come into the one-arm balance. You can plant that hand really strongly down into the floor and the uh, length and leg foot pushing down really strongly too. And then we're going to lift the bottom leg, take the foot behind the other foot and lift the bum. So legs are really strong and active here. Arms are really reaching apart from one another and we're lifting the waist. Good. On the next exhale, bringing that bottom knee down. I'm going to push our way up into a kneeling position. I'm going to bring this uh, right knee in. I'm going to extend the left leg out this time. So want the knee underneath the hip and the hand underneath the shoulder, coming into a side stretch on the other side. Breathing into that lovely stretch, feeling the openness through the chest. You can either stay there if you want to come into the one arm balance. Planting the foot on the floor really strong, the whole, the whole of that left foot pushing down, hand pushing down really strong. You feel the lift in the waist as we effortlessly take that bottom foot behind the other foot and lift. We find it a bit tricky, it does get easier with time and practice. So if you want to look up towards the ceiling, tuck in the chin, lengthen the back of the neck. Keep lifting that arm up, lifting the waist, keep breathing. On the next exhale, we're going to come over into plank, so we're all going to meet in plank position. Wrists underneath the shoulders, keep the heels back, really lift the waist up into the uh, back of the body. 
So we're feeling this kick back through the heels, this lengthening action along the crown of the head. So the whole the body's in one nice long line here. If you find plank position really tough, you can always drop the knees and come into half plank. That's fine too. Keep breathing there. And then we're going to lower the knees and lower all the way down onto our front, coming into cobra position. So on the hands underneath the shoulders, tops of the feet to floor, and engage the, the legs. So thighs really uh, squeezing muscle to bone here, here. And then we're going to like, tuck the pelvis under to push the pubic bone down into the floor. So elbows into the side of the waist, lengthen the back of the neck. We're going to take a breath in and exhale. We're going to push the hands into the floor, lift the head and chest, but keep the neck in line with the spine. Elbows into the side of the body and really pull the chest forward, which might involve pulling the hands backwards just a tiny bit. So we feel that lengthening forward of the chest and then you can always push the hands a little bit further into the floor and extend the arms a tiny bit. But we want to, the most important thing is to bring the chest forward. We want as much length in the upper back as possible. Keep breathing, opening through the chest and on the exhale, lowering down all the way onto your front. Place the head to one side. I'm just taking a moment of pause there. Just allowing the breath to settle for a moment. Taking the head to the other side. Okay, good. Coming back to centre. And place the hands a little bit further back. So we plant the hands into the floor, tuck the toes under and really lift the bottom using the strength of the arms to come all the way up into all fours again. So we're going to bring the hands back. We're actually going to bring the uh, left foot forward this time. So we're going to bring the left foot a little bit forward. So you want the knee just over the ankle roughly, but not past the ankle. We're going to bring the arms up to hold like a beach ball, a metro beach ball between the hands. And just soften down into that lunge, bringing the right hip forward, left hip back. You can always support the back knee on, on a cushion um, or blanket if you find that helps. We're going to come into a twist here. So we're going to place the uh, left hand on the out on the sort of left hip crease. We're going to open that hip crease out to the side. We're going to place the hand, uh, the right hand on the outside of that left leg. Take a breath in to, to reach up nice and tall through the crown of the head, and then exhale. Come down to a twist. We're going to slide the arm down as we bend into that front knee. And then if you come all the way down to the elbow and the outside of the leg, if you want to come into this variation, you bring the, the palms together in the centre of the chest. And again, looking behind you. Also, if you want to advance even further, you can tuck the toes under the back uh, foot and lift that back knee. If you're lifting back knee, make sure the leg is really engaged, lifting up to the ceiling. Keep breathing, core engaged. Opening through the chest. And then planting the back knee if you've got it lifted, back down on the floor. And then um, planting the hands on the floor. We're actually going to pivot uh, this back foot. We're going to lift the back knee and plant that foot down. We want the heel in line with the arch of the back foot. And we're going to spiral our arms up into warrior two pose. Now, you stay where you are. I'm going to switch around so you can see what I'm doing. So we're in warrior two, bending this front knee, back leg is straight and active, really pushing into the floor. We've got the upper body nice and upright above the pelvis. Arms are reaching away from each other, so this lovely length along the arms, on the inhale, lengthening the hands, the feet apart from one another, and the exhale, we're softening down, connecting to the breath here. Take another breath in and exhale, we're going to straighten this front leg and we're going to come straight into your wide-legged triangle pose. So we're going to engage the thighs really strongly. We're going to reach forward as if we're reaching for a rope with that left arm and come down, bring the other arm up. Maybe tuck the chin looking up or straight forward. We're going to push this hand against the leg and feel how it helps to open the chest. We feel this lovely openness broadening across the collarbones. Taking a breath in and exhale, we push the feet into the floor, coming all the way up. And then we're going to spiral back down to our low lunge. We're going to bring this left foot back and we're going to bring the right foot forward. So we're going to bend the knee 
and bring the knee over the ankle again, bringing the arms up and bending sort of into this front knee to allow pelvis to come a little bit further down towards the floor. Bringing the left hip forward, right hip back. Good, and just breathing into that. Then we're gonna place the left hand on the outside of the right leg, really firmly, uh, sort of actively engage this arm. Right hand on the right hip crease, pulling it back. Take a breath in to lengthen tall up with the spine. And then exhale, we're gonna lower down, twisting into that. You might wanna just stay there, that might be just enough for you. If you wanna come down to the elbow on the outside of the leg, bringing the palms together, you can. So there's loads of different ways of doing this. And you can always tuck the toes under of the back leg and lift that back knee if you want to. Breathing into that. If you have got the back leg lifted, really lifting the thigh up, squeezing the thighs in towards each other, so the right hip's coming back, the left hip's coming forward a little bit. Breathing into that. On the next exhale, we're just gently gonna place that back knee down, bringing the hands down, we're gonna plant the back foot down, so the heel, front heel is in line with the back arch, the, the, the arch of the back foot. We're gonna plant the feet down, we're gonna spiral the arms up one by one into our warrior two pose. So we're bending into this front knee, back foot is nice and actively pushing into the floor. Breathing into that. Inhale to lengthen the arms and feet apart from one another. Actively engage the whole body, this is a great strengthening pose, warrior two. And on the exhale, we're softening a little bit deeper into this pose. Take a breath in, and on the exhale, we're gonna straighten this front leg. We're gonna reach forward on the inhale, so if we're reaching for a rope. Exhale, placing the hand down, and folding open with the chest. The other arm is up to the ceiling, and we're pushing this right hand against the right leg to fold open with the chest. Keep breathing. Legs are working really strongly for us here. And then take a breath in. Exhale, we're gonna push the feet into the floor, hands to the hips, and then bring the back foot to the front of your mat. Coming into a standing position. Coming to chair pose. So um, if you, it's quite useful to have a cushion between the thighs here. If you haven't got anything, you can have the feet together, that's fine then. The thighs engaging in towards one another. Inhale, the arms come up. Exhale, we're gonna sit the bottom back as if you're finding a low stool. And we want length in the spine here. We don't want too much of a tuck or too much of a tilt of the pelvis. We just want length, we want a neutral spine. So if you can sit a little bit deeper there, you can bring the arms alongside the ears if you want to. You don't have to though, you can just keep them shoulder width or you can even do the cactus, the cactus pose with the arms. Keep the lower ribs, the front of the lower ribs into the body though. Try to avoid any overarching there. Take another breath in. And exhale, pushing the feet to the floor, coming all the way up. Fabulous, okay. So we're gonna come into a couple of balancing poses before we come down to the floor. Bring the weight over onto the right foot. Coming into tree pose, uh, like we did in the first video. So you have the ankle against the leg, the foot against the calf, or you can have the foot against the, whoop, <laughs> the thigh. So loads of different variations there. I quite like the foot against the calf. You don't want to um, take the, the knee too much out to the side and keep the hips facing forward. And you can come into any variation of the arms, the cactus pose with the arms, the goal pose position, otherwise known as, <laughs> or the prayer, prayer position above the head, which is a more traditional variation of this pose. Really pushing that, that standing foot into the floor nice and strongly. We're going to come into a quad stretch. So we're going to take the foot, top of the foot in the hand, in one hand or both hands. You can always use the wall for this as well, coming into a quadriceps stretch. Slightly tuck the pelvis under if you want a slightly deeper stretch there. Breathing into that. If you want to transition into the dancers pose, you can just stay here. But if you want to transition into dancers, I'll just show it from the side. So you place the hand on the inside of the foot. Bring the thumb and the four fingers together with that left hand, bringing the hand, um, the, sorry, the right hand up to the ceiling, taking a breath in, and exhale, we're gonna kick the foot back as we lean the body forward, 
Finding a focus with the eyes is really important. Steadying the breath. And then coming up out of the pose nice and gently, placing the foot down. I'll do that on the other side. Coming into tree pose first. Whichever variation of tree you did on one side, doing the same on the other side. Coming into any arm variation that feels good for you. And then coming straight into our quad pose, quad stretch. So one hand or both hands on the top of that foot, rolling the shoulders back. Getting that lengthening up action through the crown of the head. Feel free to stay in this stretch. If you want to come into the dancer's pose, place the hand on the, um, the inside of the foot to open the chest. Bring the thumb and the forefinger together with the other hand, up to the ceiling, nice and strong with that arm, and then hinging forward. Kicking the foot back into the hand, open the chest, and also keep your balance here. And then gently coming up out of pose. Fabulous. So we're going to come into a little squat, coming down to the floor. If you find it difficult to get your heels down in a squat, you can always pop a block underneath the heels. Or something that would work similarly. Bringing the hands together and prep, opening through the chest. And just sensing that nice sort of hip release. down to the floor, making your way down. Going to lie onto our backs, just hugging the knees into the chest, rocking side to side. We're going to place the left foot on the floor, we're going to place the right ankle on the thigh of that left leg, and then just bring the leg in towards the chest. You can either have the hands around the back of the thigh, around the shin, or if this is too much, you just have the foot on the floor, that's enough to, for many of us. Flexing this right foot as well is really important. And also trying to keep the sacrum down and grounded into the floor is also a really uh, important part of this pose. Placing the foot down, swap sides, right foot on the floor, left ankle on the thigh, and then maybe lifting that leg off. Keeping the hands around the back of the thigh or the shin. And then this foot is, is nice and flexed to protect the knee, that left foot. Again, just keeping the sacrum down. And then planting the foot down. Bringing the feet a little bit wider as well, maybe about as wide as the mat. Arms out to the side, just taking the knees side to side, sort of like windscreen wipers, in the same direction. Great, and then bring the knees up, and just extending the legs long, long floor for Shavasana relaxation, palms facing up, or you can have the hands on the belly as well, which is a nice um, way to connect to that belly breath again. If you find it difficult to have the legs long, uh, if you've got lower back sensitivity, I'd su suggest putting something underneath the knees, like a bolster, or you can just bend the knees, place the feet on the floor a little bit wider than the hips, can be quite comfortable. Closing the eyes and just starting to relax the body now as we come back down to the floor after the practice. Allowing the feet to relax, the legs, the buttocks, sensing the weight of the pelvis, 
relaxing the belly, the chest, the shoulders, the arms, the hands, relaxing any tension, fingers and thumbs. Noticing the position of the spine. And becoming aware of the organs just hovering above the spine. Floating. Sensing the weight of the head. Relaxing any tension in the face, across the forehead, the temples. Any tension in the eyes as they sink back into the sockets. Letting go of any tension around the mouth, the jaw, the neck. Perhaps allowing the lips to part slightly. And just becoming aware of the whole body now, the whole body in space. If you find the mind wandering, just guiding it back to that gentle inhalation and exhalation. The rise and fall of the belly with the breath. Starting to gradually bring the attention back into the ring, from wherever the mind has wandered, back to the body, the contact of the body on the floor. And perhaps starting to bring a little bit of movement into the fingers and toes. So we gradually start to wake the body up. Maybe nodding the head side to side, just loosening up any tension in the neck. Bringing the knees into the chest. Maybe rocking the knees side to side a little bit, a little bit just loosening up the body. And when you're ready, rolling over onto your side, pushing yourself up to a seated position. Just a comfortable seated position, keeping the eyes closed if you can. Bring the palms together, bowing our heads, namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for these classes. Uh, if you're interested in working with me in the new year in West London, you can check out all the information at my website. That's yogalateslondon.com. Uh, we can find out information about private tuition, uh, the group classes that I run in Fulham, Hammersmith, 
and in St Margaret's in Twickenham. And uh, the new term of classes starts on the first week of January. There's just a few spaces left. So do check out all the information if you're interested. Uh, in the meantime, have a fabulous new year. Namaste.